Yes, hello, welcome to 1000 PS TV. I'm here at the Yamaha R1 presentation um, at Sydney. And next to me is uh, the guy from Ölins. I <laughs> forget the name. Hello, the guy from Ölins. Uh, what's your name, please? Martin Lundberg. Ah, that's great. Uh, Martin, um, we're talking about the R1M. You are the proud company that um, is equipping this bike with um, yeah, great suspension. Um, first question, what's the, the hardware of this electronic suspension set uh, that's used in, this, in, the, in, the, in the R1M? The hardware is uh, in the front fork. It's a Nix 43 uh, electronically controlled front fork. And in the rear, we have the TTX uh, 36 shock absorber, also with electronic control. So, without talking about electronics, is quite a, quite a good deal to buy the R1M because already the hardware is the price worse. I think so. Yes, it's basically if you buy the the hardware without electronic control in the aftermarket, is is more than the uh, actual price difference for the R1M. Yes. Oh, and then the carbon stuff and so on comes free, so it's quite a, quite a good deal. Um, let's talk about the electronic system. I think there is one big decision um, making the system, I think, with or without a GPS. Uh, you uh, made the decision without GPS, just measuring in the corner or in the track situation and then making the perfect setup. Um, why did you make it in that way? Yeah, basically we... Uh, we want to keep it as simple as possible, uh, but still delivering the maximum performance. It should be easy to use, easy to set up. You should not have to spend a lot of time at the computer or iPad or whatever to set up the system. It should be easy. From the dashboard, you just arrive at the track, you just set your favorite setting and you should go. It's all about riding, it's all about pleasure. This is our key focus. So. Uh, the system we developed is, is, uh, has a heritage from a GPS system that we used in 2008 with uh, Haga and Corsa. And what we learned from that system, we, we adapted to this bike, we used the IMU to detect all the kind of different situations that we used the GPS for instead. So in our point of view, we made the, uh, the system without the GPS, but still the performance is the same. Uh, so now my next question doesn't make sense anymore because uh, I already wrote the BMW and uh, there is a GPS system in, uh, in it. And uh, my question was, are you not able to build it? But you already told me you already built it 2008. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's an active decision not to have it actually. But uh, of course in the future, if there is a big need for such a system, I'm happy to uh, supply it from Erlins. But, uh, I think it should be more simple. It shouldn't be so complicated to ride a bike. It should be as easy as any conventional suspension. It should be even easier. You should have the electronics as a, as a positive add-on. And uh, now you don't have to get out your screwdriver to set up your suspension. You can just do it in the dashboard. So that makes it actually easier to do the setup on your bike. Okay, and is it also realistic that um, the old guys that, yeah, are able to, to work with the setup uh, on their suspension that they will use now this electronic system or will they stay at the old-fashioned uh, system? What do you think? No, I think uh, most people will be able to notice the advantage of the system. Uh, there are less compromises when using the system. So it's, uh, for me, I'm not a very fast rider, but for me, I can notice the difference. It uh, makes the bike just easier to ride. And I think this is what everybody will notice, but in the end, if you are difficult to convince, we have the manual mode. And in the manual mode, you can always set up the suspension exactly the same way as a normal TTX and a normal NIX front fork. It will be hydraulically, it's the sec exactly the same parts. So even if you hate electronics and you don't want to make this electronic uh, setup um, or active setup during, during riding, you tr can buy this bike and use it like an old fashioned one but just without stretching your screws. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You don't have to bend over and get off the bike to, to change the tuning. You can have, uh, you can already preset three, uh, two or three uh, manual modes that you want to test out and you just go into the pits, quick switch and then out again. So you can very quickly evaluate if there is a difference or whatever you like. So I think the system makes it much more fun to ride the bike actually. Okay, last question, you know, in the pit lane it's important to yeah, uh, improve and tune the bike. 
but uh, what can I do with that bike? I already have the yeah, best stuff you can get for money in the, in the suspension. Is there one level above uh, for semi-pro riders? To, can, I, can I tune? Um, yeah, of course you can change springs and you can do all the usual stuff. You can change the hydraulic setting if you uh, think that our setting doesn't really match your needs. Uh, you can have a little bit stiffer setting and soft setting exactly the same like the standard bikes that we have with conventional suspension. So all those uh, things still apply and uh, in the future you will have more and more different add-ons and components uh, that you can add to this system. Uh, we haven't really decided all the details yet because we want to learn the market what is the real need for the customer and then we want to supply that. Okay, great. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank <music> you.